Hi, in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use Boxcox transformation to transform the Y variable. Sometimes when we are fitting a multiple linear regression model or a simple linear regression model, we may find out that regression assumptions such as normality and homogeneity of variance are not satisfied. So in that case, we transform the Y variable and again fit the model. And again, we check whether the assumptions are met or not. Box box transformation is one such transformation which can help to resolve this problem and this transformation is appropriate only when the response variable is strictly positive. Jump uses this particular formula, uh, the uh, reference is given here, Box and Cox 1964. In short, it determines the best value of lambda and using that value of lambda, we get the response, the transformed response. So let me demonstrate here that how to fit a model using uh, the box box transformation. Let's say if I fit a model, in this case, y is the y variable and these are the factors. Uh, as of now, I don't see any problem with the model, but let us assume that um, model is not meeting the assumption, usual assumption of normality and homogeneity of variance, let's say, that in that case, I can transform the y variable. To Fit the model using box box transformation, click on this red triangle, go to factor profiling and choose box box y transformation. It will automatically calculate what is the best lambda for you, for your data set. Now if you click on this red triangle, if you click on save best transformation, one column will be added at the end. So this is the y variable using lambda equal to 1.216 it is transformed into new values uh, using the formula at the back end. If you click on this red triangle, you can click on uh, either refit with the transformation or replace with the transformation. So let's see if I want to replace the existing equation and uh, replace it with the current new y values. So if you click on replace y values, it will ask for uh, lambda. It is automatically taking the best lambda. So previous uh, results are, re previous model is replaced by the new model where y variable is no longer this column but the y variable is this particular column. Now again after fitting this model we can recheck for the assumptions. Suppose if you want to change the model but keep the y variable same you can click on redo, relaunch analysis. So box cox y 1.216 this is the y variable automatically calculated. Uh, transform variable. Let's say now in this model I just want x2 and x3. So I'm going to remove all the variables here and keep only x2 and x3. Sorry. Uh, this is x2 and this is x3. And click on run. So like this you can uh, use the box box transformation uh, to fit the model. Refit the model. Uh, just remember that the equation that you are getting here it is not for the y variable. It is for the transformed variable and if you want to get the uh, values predicted values let's say for the uh, actu in the actual var uh, variable terms in the uh, uh, in the terms of actual variable on the actual scale click on factor profiling click on profiler so it will automatically converts convert the output uh, into the original scale using the reverse transformation so the equation which is given here is uh, for this y variable which is transformed but the prediction and whatever you are going to do the confidence interval and all uh, it will be converted into the original scale of the variable and uh, you will get the values the predicted value uh, on the original scale of the y variable so that's how you fit the model using box box transformation whenever the regression assumptions are not usually met